This is the notes for section 2.6 polygons. Uh, if you haven't done so already, pause the video and read the section before uh, continuing on. So we want to start out with defining what a polygon is. And you, you'll notice that I have the, the formal definition here. It says let P1, P2, dot, 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 and P and B and distinct points in the same plane. The union of the end segments, piece of one, piece of two, segment, uh, segment P2 and P3, all the way up to segment PN back to P1, is a polygon if and only if each segment intersects exactly two others, if no segments sharing an endpoint are collinear. So, so let's, let's look at using that definition to create a polygon at this time. So I'm going to come over to my calculator to do that. So basically what it's saying is that if I have n distinct points, which I have over here, in this case I just chose five, it doesn't matter, it can be any number of points as long as it's three or more. Um, and what you want to do is you want to connect those in such a way that each segment intersects exactly two other segments. So I've, I've gone around and connected those five points in such a way that you'll notice that if I look at the segment P1, P2, it intersects this segment right here and it intersects this segment right here. It doesn't intersect any other set of segments. Okay. Um, same with each one of these segments is touching exactly two other segments. So what that does by saying that is that it eliminates um, segments crossing where they're not at a vertex point. Okay, so notice how a, a polygon is always a closed figure. There's no holes in it, and there's no segments that are crossing each other. Okay, now I'd like to take a look at the parts of a polygon. The, the two main parts that I want to look at is the idea of sides and vertices. And I've got kind of double underlined an important thing. When we talk about a side, it's a segment. Okay, so anytime you're going to refer to a sign, you're going to refer to it as a segment. And with vertices, it's always a point. So we're always referring to it as a particular point. So sides are segments and vertices are points. Sides are the segments that make up a polygon, A, B, B, C, C, D, etc. The vertices are the points that are endpoints of the sides. So A, B, C, D, E, and F are the vertices of this polygon. Okay. When we name a polygon, we will always name it either clockwise or counterclockwise in order. So I, I, I don't have to start alphabetically. I can really start anywhere I want. But if I did start alphabetically, I could just go around A, B, C, D, E, F would be the way that we would name that polygon. Okay, So I could say this is hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F. I, but I don't have to start with A. I could start with C or D or B. It doesn't matter where I start. And it also doesn't matter the direction I go. I could start with B and go B, A, F, E, D, C. That would also be an appropriate way of naming this polygon. Okay. The next term that we have here is the idea of consecutive or adjacent vertices. Uh, vertices excuse me. The term adjacent or consecutive means next to each other. So in terms of how we're going to define that, we're going to say they're the endpoints of any side of a polygon. So if I look at the vertice A, there are two other vertices that are adjacent to A. Because AB is a segment, therefore B and A are adjacent vertices. And since F is on the segment AF, F and A would also be adjacent vertices. So as you look at a polygon, any vertice will always have two adjacent vertices. Okay. And then the last term that in terms of parts of polygons that I want to talk about is a diagonal. I don't have any of those drawn in at this time, but a diagonal is a segment connecting non-adjacent vertices. So if I look at any one vertice, let's say I'm going to take the vertice A, there, there are several diagonals for A, okay, going from A to C, A to D, and A to E, 
all three of those would be diagonals with a vertice with the vertice A as part of the diagonal. Now notice how I have underlined here again that they're segments. So if I'm listing those diagonals, I would list them as segments AC, AD, and AE. Those would represent the segments that are the diagonals with a vertice of A. Now those are not the only diagonals of that. We can go to vertice B and list the three from that one, vertice C and list the two remaining ones from that one, etc., all the way around the entire um, hexagon here. Okay, let's look at the names of different polygons. These are the polygons that you'll be responsible for. A polygon with n sides is called an anagon, where n is small and the polygons have where n is small, the polygons have special names. So these are the ones that you'll, the special names that you have to be familiar with. A triangle obviously is three sides, a quadrilateral is four, pentagon five, hexagon six, a heptagon is seven, octagon eight, nonagon is nine, a decagon is ten, and a dodecagon is twelve. So for the most part you should be familiar with a vast majority of those. The only ones that you maybe aren't quite as familiar with is heptagon for seven, nonagon for nine, and dodecagon for twelve. Okay. Polygonal regions, um, so a po when we defined a polygon, we defined it as the union of those segments so we didn't talk at all about the inside of that polygon. Well, that the when we include the the polygon and the region that is inside the polygon, in other words, the shaded region, this blue region, we call that the polygonal region. Okay, and when we look at the idea of a, a convex polygon. If we talk about a polygon being convex, we're talking about a polygon in which its region is convex. Okay? A simple task for a com convex polygon is to draw all the diagonals of the polygon. If all the diagonals are within the interior of the polygon, then it is a convex polygon. If any diagonal is partly or completely in the exterior of the polygon, then the polygon is non-convex. For instance, if I look at this polygon up here, if I were to take and draw in the diagonal from A to D, that diagonal is on the exterior of the polygon, therefore that would not be a convex polygon. Therefore we'd call it a non-convex polygon. Okay, the last thing I'd like to do is take a look at the different types of triangles. Um, triangles can be classified by the sides, and there are three different possible triangle classifications. We have equilateral triangles, we have isosceles triangles, and we have scalene triangles. If we talk about a triangle being equilateral, we're saying that all three of its sides are equal in length, and we have those marked here with um, slash marks on each side, indicating that all three of them are the same. We have an isosceles triangle that has at least two sides of equal length. Therefore, all equilateral triangles are isosceles triangles as well. Okay? And we'll get to that when we talk about the hierarchy here in just a little bit. And then finally, scalene triangles is a triangle in which none of the sides are equal in length. Okay? Now I mentioned the hierarchy. Below you'll find a hierarchy uh, for triangles and, and, and we have the most general idea in geometry is a figure. Okay? Well, a special type of figure is a polygon, and a special type of polygon is a triangle. Now we're going to go one step further, we're going to break triangles down. Triangles can be broken down into scalene or isosceles, and inside of isosceles there's a special case of isosceles in which all three of the sides are equal, and that is an equilateral triangle. So, although there's three classifications for triangles, they aren't all on the same level. Equilateral is a more specific name than the other two.
Okay, so let's take a look at this this one example problem that we have, and really, like I said, most of this is is terminology here in this section. It says, according to the hierarchy, a triangle is a special type of what two categories? Okay, well, if I look down my hierarchy, here's triangle, so it would be a special type of everything above it, special type of polygon, and it's a special type of figure. So the answer there would be polygon and figure.